Okay, check that. It looks like it's working. The simplest thing, getting a stereo feed to QuickTime, is like Quest for Fire. I hadn't, uh, hadn't really made a video log in a couple of days, I guess. I uh, got uh, hung up on... Uh, uh, not even hung up, just busy doing other stuff. I got into a, a cello and uh, U2 obsession. I did like uh, three or four U2 songs and uh, it came out pretty cool. Um, and then cello is, <laughs> you're not a any kind of composer until you've uh, gotten obsessed with either yeah, violin or cello or grand piano and some hot chick attached to it <laughs> I uh oh yeah uh, I got a email from uh, David in uh, Dublin last night yeah, he wanted me to do a I think that's what that means. If you're tagged, do a, do a response on Injustice. He, he did a pretty neat one. Snazzy music. And uh, I'll probably get, get into that. I <laughs> I was just... Uh, I, I don't know why it reminded me of Skeeter. <laughs> Skeeter. This guy, Scott. I don't remember his last name in school. I used to do his... He's a... He's a you know, I don't know if he's in jail or a doctor now. Which one? I I, <laughs> uh, I used to do his uh, term papers and shit for extra money. And uh, he was a med student. And uh, I'd do his papers, make a couple hundred bucks, you know, or whatever. And uh, he... Uh, so years later, I saw on TV they had a guy in handcuffs and I don't remember the whole story exactly but he had started a near death salon in Beverly Hills you know so <laughs> I was laughing I don't know why it got me thinking about that he was talking about injustices and death and, and stuff and uh, so it was all over the TV in LA for a few days you know because uh, he had started a near death experience salon and I guess a couple of his clients I can't really talk about it without laughing because it's so fucking fucked up. You know, it's just totally wrong. I guess some of his clients, like two in one day, died or something. And since he was a medical doctor, he had set up a, like a lounge in Beverly Hills and some sort of office thing where he would put you to sleep and take you as near death as possible. And a couple people got the complete death experience and he had just gotten out of jail. And, uh... I don't even remember how I saw him. I might have just looked him up out of curiosity and the whole thing. But I went over there and the, the, the exchange, I don't know, it was funny to me. And I was like, uh, how's it going, man? You know, and I, and I, uh, he had just gotten out of jail and he had an injunction or something to get back to the shop. And he was claiming that it was just a freak accident and blah, blah. But, uh, and I went over there and uh, anyway I'm going in and I, I went in I was talking to him a little bit how's it going yeah yeah jail that sucks yeah yeah like that death that's never good except for other people you know and uh, he goes hey man the gear's all set up he goes I'll give you one on the house and uh, what did I say I was like you know and two, a couple of people had just died at this fucker's hands you know and I know he's a shitty doctor. I did all of, of his papers, you know. So I was like, uh, what did I say? It was all nonchalant, you know. I go like, uh, I just said like, oh no, I'm good, something like that. And I go, by the way, do you validate, you know, without missing a lick? He goes, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, that was the whole thing. And then when I was leaving, he goes, come back you know and it's like he's probably in jail or something I don't know what happened with that actually but it was weird but yeah I'll probably I hadn't I just want to let people know I was alive like I say I got into like a 
a cello, <laughs> uh, which I do every few years. I'm a big... I'm actually a classical composer as well as other stuff. <laughs> I was going to say other shit. And, uh, yeah, I get into cellos. Uh, I love cello and grand piano and, and write with them a lot, but I, I get into an obsession where I won't sleep or eat or do anything except work with cellos and uh, um, but I'm old enough now to go like well it's been like five days now that's good you know you've taken the cello as far as it can go for right now um, and a U2 obsession I hadn't really been into them in a long time and because uh, I just wore it all out that song I did though came out good uh, and posted I, uh, oh, how do you say that? Dahi? 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 I was at, when I was at a site, uh, <laughs> right? When I was at a site stealing video, I learned how to say the man's name. If only regular criminals were that courteous, you know? But, uh, it came out nice. I gave it a sort of a professional listen to a while ago. And that could be used for professionally. There's only a couple of very slight things I'd change about vocal tone and timbre here and there just on one or two words really but it yeah that's nice that's cool that works you know that could be used for film or uh whatever so anyway yeah uh and i've got a few other i've got like 10 at least 10 songs completely done i need to make videos for oh i got a new camera which will be useful this is amazing waterproof takes amazing video like I got it refurbs like 69 bucks or something I don't even remember but uh, the video was awesome it goes up to 1080 it's a Kodak play sport and it kicks ass with a tripod and a remote although they sent me the wrong remote it doesn't really work would have been handy uh, but uh, yeah that it uh, that would have cost you ten thousand dollars like 15 years ago 1080 uh, I mean it's just nice anyway that'll be helpful I uh, I've been having uh, some health problems uh, I've been having uh, uh, I went out and got groceries the other day and my uh, my left arm's been completely numb and, and uh, weak. And uh, anyway, it's all the symptoms of transient ischemia, uh, blood clots. I take aspirin all the time, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, you know, death. <laughs> uh, I've always thought when, when in your life, when you, when you, uh, sort of figure something out or everything out at that instant you die you know which I figured a lot of stuff out lately so <laughs> maybe my time and yeah, my arm is really weak but it's uh I'm pretty sure it's from uh, well I smoke like two or three packs a day and if you ask me if I care about any of that nah not really I mean it is what it is am I gonna change probably not I'm 49 fucking years old it's like you know, uh, I'm just glad to be here, and, uh, I've been having a blast doing the music, so, uh, yeah, but I pound down the aspirin a lot for pain, and it also helps keep the, <laughs> keeps the old blood clots down, I will, I, I may make a, a video, uh, on, I hate planning stuff out, but I, obviously I didn't, but uh, on injustice, on an answer to that, but uh, I uh, read all Ferris Bueller that one. It's like, I can make all the injustice videos you want. Still doesn't change the fact that I don't own a car, <laughs> you know, which is true. Uh, but uh, yeah, somebody just posted on that U2 song. People are just weird. Something about that U2 was anti Christ or anti-biblical or some shit. I mean, yeah, you know, the email got so much. I, I just wanted to post basically to tell people us who actually do follow this, which is few and far between. I'm still alive and still still doing it, you know. 
and uh, yeah I decided to stop dicking around and make things sound really big and good and you know um, who knows you know I mean but um, yeah with with you two I mean I've been into that for a couple of days and it's just so so probably the greatest one of the greatest songwriting bands ever I mean it's not like he's fantastic guitar player not like he's a fantastic singer not like he's fantastic anything but you put the writing and all of that together and it's you know you can take their songs and the good thing about it either completely stripped or completely orchestrated they are every one of them has come out really fantastic and it's the songs are just so good you know so yeah um that that's pretty much it i mean i've been having some some health problems and but it's like uh i just i I can't really pay attention to that anymore i'm just i'm glad i'm here and doing this and i'm going to keep doing this probably till the day i die which may not be too long (laughs) so yeah it's all good i mean It, it it's all good and that man a lot of people have subscribed to me in the last few days uh, anyway yeah I, I don't have all that much to say right now never half ass two things whole ass one thing that's what it says Oh, fuck. I just subscribed to her from my personal account. I do not want to do that. Well, yeah, I just wanted to let whoever follows this know I'm alive, and I haven't really been able to answer. The the emails have just gotten voluminous. I started out with, uh, in this email box, uh, like 8,000 emails, and there's now... uh, 32,000 and some odd in a couple of months so yeah but uh, that's that's about it you know I'm doing what I'm doing and I guess if I were to die I just want people to know like never been happier everything's in my life has come together you know all the things that I can do have come together perfectly to do this and I, I'm never gonna quit you know Yes, I'm in a piece of shit RV in the middle of nowhere, but uh, it's become about me, not versus the songs, but, but without dope and without women and without all the bullshit of, I'm completely alone too, so without all the added bullshit of other people, there's no you know excuses or anything it's like it's just me and the songs what can I do and uh, it was a deeply I will say a deeply emotional experience working with the U2 songs in the last few days Um, I hadn't really let myself get into that in a long time so I, I enjoyed it and I think it came out real nice the one I posted so far um, but yeah, if I were to die, I've never been happier. I really haven't. Even when I, you know, had everything this world has to offer. So it's been an eye opener in that way is that what's important, what's really important in the way that I go about it is, uh, these, uh, these songs and videos, if YouTube doesn't you know, ban me or banish me or something, which, you know, it's, I've made provisions for that, whatever <laughs> you take, you know, <laughs> right, uh, but, uh, these will be works that'll be there last forever and for people to enjoy, and also hopefully my descendants, you Blade Runner fans, so anyway, everything else is secondary, you know, uh, doing this is primary and that it's funny how things became so clear to me yeah anyway 
I'm really, really happy. Um, still doesn't change the fact I don't have a car. 